video, I just wanted to say thank you to all of our viewers, subscribers, anybody who come on our channel. Somebody left a comment that would just touch my heart. It really touched my heart. She said, encourage us, Yolanda. And she just don't know how much you all encourage me. She just, she does not know how much each and every one of you encourage me. Duna is bumping my leg while I'm trying to do this clip. But I just had to come on here and I had to say it. You need to let folks know when you appreciate them. And you guys just really touch my heart with how much you come on here and uh, support our channel. I am so thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to let you know. And I ain't ashamed to do it. I'm going to get on here. I'm going to let you know. And I, I just, I just got to tell it. I have to tell it. A lot of times when something is on my heart, I got to go ahead and let it out. So thank you to each and every one of you who come on here, encourage me, and give me loving comments and different things like that. On top of that, I ain't never said that my viewers or my subscribers are all perfect. Some of y'all might be a little crazy. Some of y'all, <laughs> when it comes down to it, some of y'all might be ready to get down. But listen here, y'all some good folks. Y'all some good folks. I love y'all, each and every one of y'all, and thank you again for supporting me, no matter what. I appreciate you, and accepting me for just who I am. Oh, no, 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 no. Hello, YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. We are here today at Panera Bread, so I'm going to turn it around. Let me see. Look. We're at Panera Bread. We're going to go in here and get some breakfast. Let me see what's in here. Avocado on mine. Come on, buddy. Okay. And what else can I get for you? I just got me a Diet Pepsi. Doing a bug. Want some? Diet Pepsi. But they have these nice lemonades up here. Uh, this Fuji Apple Cranberry Lemonade, I guess. And Mango, citrus, strawberry, lemon, mint. Three different teas. The unsweetened tea, that papaya, ice, green tea, and lemonade. Good array of drinks. And then over here it is uh, Pepsi products. Doing about really enjoying our diet, Pepsi. Never knew the Panera had a drink club that you could join for eleven ninety nine per month. I thought it was for the year, and I was like excited, but it is per month, and you have unlimited uh, access to their lemonades, the different coffees, teas, and Pepsi product drinks. Sounds interesting. Man, look. What, you, you hit your finger? No, my finger just locking up, man. I think it's uh, arthritis. Your fingers and stuff and locking up. Mm. I think, no, it's just this one. I think it's just arthritis, man. You ain't never know. Seems it hurts be doing it too. But you guys, we come out of Panera Bread. On the way out, I saw this oatmeal raisin, cranberry cookie. That looks so delicious. Oatmeal raisin, cranberry cookie. It's probably for the Christmas season. It looks so good, but $3 for a cookie, one cookie. Is it the one stick? Okay, you got it. Oh, the one with the sticker. Okay, yeah, this one no avocado. You can eat your with avocado. I don't care about eating nice with avocado. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. This how they look, y'all. Look pretty good. The egg look mighty fluffy. You want a piece? Your chicken and your egg on there, okay? So I'm sure it's for very, 19, very good. For nineteen dollars. This, this and this, and then they'll have no jelly up in there. You know, ooh, you know we love. I love to have my jelly on here, but we will see. I mean, put my avocado sauce on that. You know what I'm saying? Why you don't never want nothing to eat? Mm. We're gonna get up some hash browns at Dunkin' Donuts. Katibius with us. Say hi, Tip. Hey. Hey. <laughs> don't show me. I'm wanted. Mm -hmm. You already been on the block. 
Dang it, man. I told you, don't even show me. You guys, that, that is delicious. Ain't there a little sauce on there? Mm hmm. Like a little sauce on there. I probably wouldn't even taste it, the avocados. Okay, you guys, we're gonna get on out of here. Gonna run the Dunkin'. All right, YouTube, welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. I have had a long day today, as you guys saw in the vlog, that um, I had to go pick my husband up from work this morning, and that's not an everyday thing, but this morning I had to go pick him up from work, and a lot of times when I do pick him up from work, we do go and eat breakfast, so we went on to Panera and we ate, um, and then um, I had to run a few errands, and um, I took Duna Butt to get his hair cut, and I think that's about all I filmed today because it was just a lot going on. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to show you this small Dollar General haul that I got. All right. I want, first thing I want to show you is these that I found. Look at this big old stocking I found at Dollar General. Yes, the Christmas decor will be going up late this year. But because of that, it will be staying up past New Year's. So, um, I don't know how long I'm going to keep it up. You know, some people keep their uh, tree and their Christmas decor up until Easter. Uh, you know, but uh, I don't know if I'll go that far. I have done that before. I have done that before. Guilty. But most of the time, I take it down like mid-January or something like that. Really, I really get my enjoyment out of it. But this thing is huge. You see it right beside me? It is huge. It's got to be, got to be two feet long. So I ended up getting two of them and they are going to go um, in my living room um, when I get ready to put them up and look at here. And I might stuff them with some plastic bags just to make them look fuller and not so flat and a dollar. They were only a dollar. So I really think to me, it looked like really nice, good quality. Um, my kids were trying to guess how much they cost, and it was like three dollars, five dollars, and then my other child was like, "I know you, mom. They they couldn't have been no more than a dollar, but I would have paid three dollars for this. I really would have. I would have paid three for it. I really would have. So when I get ready to start putting up my Christmas decor, I'm gonna put that up. I know. All right, and I went ahead and got this Glade lemonade right here. Glade lemonade, Glade, and it's called. You can see that it's called lemon. Fresh. It's called Lemon Fresh. Oh, that fresh lemon scent. It's a, it smells like lemon Lysol. That's what it smells like. So I might give me a few more things of this. This was only a dollar at Dollar General. And I do need more air freshener. So to stock up, I may do that Dollar General for just a dollar. But I think at Walmart, they may be 98 cents. Maybe not anymore. I really don't step into Walmart much, but I am going to have to go to Walmart to get some lights for the Christmas tree. So when I go in there, then I need to put a reminder to myself. I have a place called Notes in my phone, and I put a lot of my reminders right in there to remind me of what I need to get and what I don't need to get. But two cents, you know, it ain't going to make or break the bank, I guess. But $1.25 at um, Dollar Tree now, but it's only a dollar at, fam at Dollar General. I got all this stuff at Dollar General. And Family Dollar do have some really good deals also when it comes to being compared to Dollar Tree. But I heard they are sister stores or else they're owned by the same company. They are owned by the same company. I know Family Dollar and Dollar Tree are because I applied to work for them one time. And on the website, you're going to see both names there. You're going to be considered for both stores. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all over with. Then I got these... Uh, ornament hangers this is just going to help me hang different stuff it's just going to help me i'm sure with the hanging with putting the stuff on the tree and hanging stuff up i also got this right here i really want these beads gone because my colors are silver white and red for the year really silver and red but if i have to i am going to put a little pinch of white in here um there's already a pinch of white in here because these letters are white and this said warm wishes and i was going to put it right above the window right here. That middle window. I'm going to put it above that. I'm going to put some more stuff with it. All right. Yeah, we're working with it. We're working with it. And this was only $1. But I just like the way that looks. And I want to take these off of there. I'm going to get them off of there, you know, to make it look more sleek and just, you know, just straight. Straight lines, you know. To me, those beads are just throwing you off. 
All right, and last but not least, I got in there. This is on. This was only a dollar. Also, some crayons for Duna Bud for his birthday. He got a lot of activity books and coloring books, so I definitely have been doing some of those with him. But the eight pack um, that I know my daughter Cheyenne got him an eight pack, aka Tiffy Shastetti Boutique. She got him some crayons to go with his activity books, but he broke them all up and tore them up. So I'm gonna have to put these away and use them as um, put them away and use them, you know, as needed. All right, so that's what I got from Dollar General. Also today, Tina, I made it. I made a beeline to Walgreens today because I know around all parts, when they have a good sale like that on detergent, a good friend of mine named Tina, she uh, she um, comments here on the channel and she let me know that the Simply Tab is gonna be on four for $9. I have, and I showed my pitiful stockpile the other day. I am out of a lot of things, very low stock on every, a lot of things. And I just had to stop back up and you know reassess what i've been doing because i do i kind of like to keep it, everything flowing so a lot just has been going on here lately and as you can see today i was pretty busy I went to go pick my husband up and then we went to breakfast and then i took doing but he gets haircut and then i went to two different stores today also with really three different stores and i really did a couple of hours of dashing in between there since i was already out so i really just had a lot going on today um, so I did get to that first Walgreens and I could not find but one, couldn't find but one Tide Oxy, okay? And the, um, there's snuggle fabric sheets and bounce fabric sheets included in that deal and you can miss your match. So I went ahead, since I don't have any fabric softeners in my stockpile either, and that, that sale's gonna go on all this week. I really hope I can get some more fabric softeners and laundry detergents. So I got these bounces. I got three of these, three of these bounces, and they're the 60 count. And bounce smells so good, you know. And the simply tight, oh, it smells so good. All of them. I haven't found one that I don't like. All the simply tight smells so good. So this was a great deal, and I went and I went ahead and got. I got one tight at that Walgreens that I could find, and and then I got three bounces to go with it. Okay, so on my way home, here in Huntsville, we got about three to five. Man, we got a lot of different Walgreens. I know I've seen at least four to five Walgreens, but we might have more Walgreens than that. So I did stop at the Walgreens on the way home, okay? And um, they had it. They had it there. So I ended up getting five more from that Walgreens, five. So I was glad to hit that deal up today. I really hit that deal up, sis. All right. All right, here's my haul for today. Is all the tide. I think I ended up with four, one, two, three, four, five, six tides. Um, the bounce drive sheets back there and the little Dollar General haul right there. And um, they end up printing me off like two of these 20% off uh, coupons. It got to be regular price items. So I'm going to look on Walgreens website and see can I get, you know, $10 worth of items for eight bucks. I'm trying to get my savings anywhere I can. And then $10 worth of items. For eight dollars, I could not use it on the laundry detergent and fabric softener today. It has to be a non-sale item. It has to be regular priced item. But I'm sure I can find something that I could need and use either for my food stock or for my health and beauty household stock to help me stock up. And I've been to save like four dollars in between this twenty dollars right here. So thank you so much for that deal, Tina. I really took advantage of that. And I was I was so thankful not to have to pay. Five, six, and seven dollars for a bottle of it because I mean, that detergent is getting so expensive, it really is. All righty, so now I'm gonna move on to what I said I was gonna do today, right, guys. So, now, um, as far as my uh stockpile go with my cabinet, I'm gonna do get started with the organizing right now. All right, we're gonna begin with this top cabinet right here. First thing I'm gonna do is get everything out of here. All right, um, all right, uh, it is not empty and clear. I'm just gonna wipe this down real quick. I guess if you organize my work, gonna clean it. That spot right there probably will not come up. It probably won't come up because it's like a water stain or something, but I'm gonna wipe this out real good. All right, all good and clean. All right, 
Okay, let's get some stuff going and go back All into right. it. Got my plug-in warmers up here. It's out usually two rows uh, with about five in each row. Right now, that row has three and that row has two. So, I just got to get a few more oil warmers to fill that back up. Uh, it's it's way lower than what it normally be, especially these razors. But anyway, these are my razors. And somebody had one up there that's open. I'm going to have to put that into the bathroom. There's a little box that we keep in the bathroom with stuff that's already open. I try to do that, so I don't know who did that. But anyway, these three razors will go back into the there we do have shaving cream we do have more shaving cream oh, the other um shaving cream was in my bathroom these are my last three shaving cream shaving cream is going on the do not buy list i really need to do a video talking about different things i just don't buy anymore i've been having these shaving creams ever since the beginning of this year and i really haven't utilized them a lot of time once i get into the shower i will either use my daughter's uh Shasteta boutiques uh, lip oil because it is an oil but i'll put it on my hands and under my arms or whatnot i will use the oil or else i will use body wash anything that lathers up so to me sh there's no point with shaving cream but you know to each his own to each his own but after these three i won't be buying no more shaving cream i'll just use oil or else anything that lathers up to help me shave and i you know everything go well I just use um, what I can, but most of the time I do stick to my either my body wash or some oil. Okay, so I'm gonna put these under my sink, or, or else you know they're they're going they're gonna go in my basket by the shower, in my basket by the shower, and then after they're gone, that's it on the shaving cream. I I definitely made that decision earlier in the year because I've had them since since about February or so, March or whatnot. So I'm gonna get these razors in here, and then I'm gonna get this into the bathroom. Now right here, I am still on the fence about this as you see on the chic hydro one for one i got these from the dollar tree and i got these from kroger i think when they were on sale and got them free with a digital coupon whatnot i have been on the fence about shaping up my own eyebrows i'm really kind of scared to start doing that and it is um i do do my own nails and my own hair so i do want to keep something out there where i go and get a little pampering so i think my pedicures and my arches i'm going to continue to go to the salon and get done but you guys i don't know it's still up in the air so i did get these for that reason and a lot of time i will buy the dollar tree brand item just to see how it compared to the name brand item and if it's just as good i'll use dollar tree items you know when it's just as good you know so that's what i do i will buy dollar tree items i'll check it out just like those cleaners i got the other day i'll check it out and then if i like one i'll keep it if not you know, that's that'll be one of my go-tos if I don't have much money or not, you know. So, that's how I deal with Dollar Tree. Because some things at Dollar Tree is, is a yay and some things are a nay. Ooh, the razors are back up there. Okay, we rolling, we rolling. I'll be putting all our toothbrushes into the bin. This is our toothbrush bin. So, let me get that done. All right. The toothbrushes are ready for the cabinet. All right. So, now this shelf has begun to look like I had it once before. Got my toothbrushes, razors, and starches. And now my toothpastes. I don't know why I'm down to three toothpastes, but I did find. I said if I look or if I go through this stockpile, I'll find. I'll get this uh, kid toothpaste. I had, I couldn't find where I had put that kid toothpaste, but I should have known it was right here in my stockpile where I normally keep it. Alrighty, and the toothpaste is up there. Um, I usually just keep one, this one row of toothpaste. That's it. So that usually is only three. Uh, it's about four or five toothpaste, toothpaste that be right there in one row. That has done as well. I'm talking about for a family of seven to nine because a lot of time my, my grown daughters, they even utilize the stop how also. And I've never had a problem with just keeping five toothpaste um, in here. That's always been all right it's always been good just keep one full row of toothpaste all right so here is the cabinet we're all clean all organized and well put together uh with room to grow i only need some starter kits right there i really have enough razors and i have enough toothbrushes uh i can do for two more toothpaste and this space right here is going to be utilized i used to have the shaving cream there but i would no longer be buying shaving cream i can grow right there and it's definitely going to be something that me and my family use on pretty much on a daily basis are very very often that will replace that uh, shaving cream so i have room to grow and this shelf is all done thank you for joining me thank you for listening and a day will do just do a little bit of time and you'll get everything straight until next time youtube stay blessed